In this video, I will provide you with a couple of things to consider before repairing any cracks in your drywall. And the reason why I'm suggesting this is that I've seen a lot of videos where someone shows you how to fix a crack without actually solving the problem. So there's a good chance the crack will come back again. So let's go ahead and take a look at the perfect building foundation, perfect wall framing, drywall, no problems. And then next we'll take a look at the biggest problem. And this is going to usually have something to do with movement in the building, whether it's the framing or the foundation. And most of the time that movement is going to come from the building foundation, either raising or sinking. So we can look at this example either way, either this section here raised or this one here lowered. And if you do have foundation movement like this, then there's a good chance that a section of the wall will also move. And this movement here will often create create enough pressure, enough stress on the drywall or plaster to cause it to crack. And this is probably obvious, but I got to throw it out there. And that would be that the larger the crack you have in your drywall will probably suggest that you have a larger problem with the rest of the house, either the wall framing or the building foundation. And building foundation issues are usually caused from soil erosion, water leaks causing soil erosion, frost heaving, poor soil compaction when grading on newer homes, along with a few other reasons on my list, fluctuations in temperature and or humidity, vacant buildings. These would be buildings that might be left for a long period of time without any type of climate control like air conditioning and heating. Then we have the notorious earthquakes or strong winds, something that can actually create stress or move your building enough to cause something to crack either on the inside or the outside. Next up on the list, you might be dealing with the wrong products used or even bad products. Some of these products do have expiration dates on them. And then we have some materials that need to be mixed on the job site. And if these products weren't mixed correctly, you could end up with drywall cracking along the joints where each piece of drywall butts up against another one. Next up on the list, incorrect assembly of drywall and or taping and finishing along with incorrect nail or screw sizes on center spacing and even whether or not the screws or nails were installed at the correct depth. Next up on the list and another biggie would be any type of wood framing damage that might be caused from wood rot or termites. And last on the list we have roof truss uplift. And I do have a few other videos on that also. I will try to put a link to that in the video description area. And if there are any that I left out on this list, feel free to share those with us in the comment area, along with any questions you might have about this video.